Um, what did you think, though? Let's talk about it. Bianca Belair, she wins the Women's Royal Rumble coming in at number three. Uh, she's going on to WrestleMania. I would like to see Bianca Belair versus Charlotte. But uh, what did you think about the Women's Royal Rumble? We talked about returns from Victoria, Jillian Hall, Tori Wilson, Danae, Mickey James, Alicia Fox. Those are all names that kind of came back. Uh, what did you think of the Rumble itself and then the winner? No, nah, man. Um, she definitely, uh, Bianca Bella definitely uh, was in the ring with a bunch of players. Um, and she stepped up to the plate. She's been, you know, highly touted ever since, you know, um, NXT and, you know, what she's done there. And people say, man, she could be the one. She could be the next level. And um, to see her actually um, go out and perform. I mean, her performance is, I mean, she she makes it look easy. Um that's what that's what scares me um uh, with her but she turned it on last night and and switched in, uh, into another gear and when she when she beat Bailey um last week also um what impressed me with her also that night was the promo after the match um she really looked like um she was in the moment of I'm finna um, take this world by storm this this was just the beginning and uh, you guys are going to see a whole lot more of, you know, Bianca Belair. She made that moment feel a certain way. And I was like, wow, that it, it, it really uh, let me see a different side of her. And that's that's what I'm always looking for um, as far as a, a star go. And, and right now, I think her star is going to um, shine really, really bright. Uh, you know, you had, you know, Dakota Kai, you know, um, in there. You had uh, Rhea Ripley um, in there, who a lot of people really thought Rhea Ripley was going to be. The, I I picked Rhea Ripley to, to win the whole thing. and uh, But Bianca Belair, she definitely proved that uh, she could be the next. I, I think that she's, she's got everything, right? She's got it all. She's got the charisma. She's got the gimmick. She's got the in-ring work, the athleticism, the look, every, everything. Everything is great. Everything is great about, about Bianca Belair, and that's why I thought it was either going to be her or Rhea Ripley. I think that was conventional wisdom. It was going to be one of the two. Um, and her getting it and getting that spot, and if it's her versus Sasha at WrestleMania, I think that that's probably that's a money match, right? I mean, Sasha Banks has been, I think that you've said this, and you may have said this last night on the pre-show. She's been on you know maybe the best run of her career by far. She's produce the best work. No one can really hang with her bell to bell. No one's got that IQ that she has. And now you have Bianca Belair going to go see, okay, let's, let's see how good I really am. I'm going to go against the best that the women's division has to offer right now. I really like this matchup going into WrestleMania. And um, I think that she was the right person to win. I think she was a hundred percent, the right person to win. Rhea Ripley, she had her WrestleMania last year, right? She had her moment with Charlotte last year. Yeah, yeah. She's going to have a moment sooner or later. It's going to happen for Rhea Ripley. The talent, on that woman is out of this world. Oh, well, you know what's crazy is too. You know, you look at you look at the size on Bianca Belair, and she's she's a big girl. Yeah. And then you look at uh, Rhea Ripley; she's huge. You know, and uh, Sasha Banks; she's not the, um, as big. But then you look at Bailey. Bailey's right. The, the women, man, they are literally um, overpowering in so many in so many ways, uh, especially the ones that's rising to the top. Um, but I think Bianca Belair, uh, I think the rub um, that she's gotten from Bailey as far as, you know, I talk about the IQ um, that Sasha Banks has, uh, the rub that Bianca has gotten, you know, from Bailey has definitely put her in a, a perspective to where almost like um, I, I equated to when I wrestled Ricky Steamboat. You know, of course, I lost that match, um, but, but I was a whole lot better coming out of that match, you know, than before I went in. It. I was I was so much smarter coming out of that match than before I went in. It. And, I was, and I, was, I, I was like, I had just like went to Q school uh, in, in, in a matter of 20 minutes. You know, it was it was something like that. So if, if Bianca Belair um, has that same, um, you know, feeling I had, when I was in there with, you know, guys like Ric Flair, I was talking to Ric Flair just last night. Man, I was supposed to met Rick at the bar and had a drink. I forgot. Um, but I but I told Rick, you know, Rick, I remember when I worked you and you was telling me to stop and telling me to come on at the same time. And I was like, what was that all about? <laughs> you know what he said? I told Lex Luger that, and he started walking to the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs>